Soup dropshipping can be integrated with Shopify, WooCommerce, or other e-commerce platforms, and we could help you to import products and fulfill orders in just a few simple steps. Let's take Shopify as an example. Log into your Soup account and go to Dashboard. Click on Authorization column on your left, select Shopify. Input your store name and click on Authorize. Log into your Shopify account and click on Add App. Click on Install App in the bottom right corner. Confirm your account and click on Authorize Now. There you go. You can now go back to Dashboard and go on with authorizations to other stores or go to tutorials to watch videos and learn more about our functions. When you've done the authorizations, you can use several ways including our featured image searching tool to collect various products on all resource platforms in China and list the products to your own store. First, let's see how to search products on Soup and list it to your store. Go to Soup homepage and click on the All button on the left side of the searching column. Select Soup. Type in the keywords of your products and click on Search button. Here you can check all the products available on Soup. Find it, click on List button on the bottom right corner. Select your store, fill in the prices for variants and click on List it now. Done, you have successfully listed your products to your store. You can now go to your imported list to check it. Not enough products? Don't worry. Next, let's try our featured image searching tool to source for products from suppliers all around China. Click on camera button on the right side of searching bar, click on the blank with plus and then upload your product image. Wait until the results come out and pick yourself the best marking among the quotes. To save your time, you can sort by price, sales or repurchase rates. Upload browsing shopping sites like Amazon. When you find a nice product and you want to sell it to your store, simply take a screenshot and cut it to right size. Save the image and upload it in the same way. Search by the image and find yourself the right supplier. Certainly, you can search for products from suppliers around China with keywords. Simply make sure the button on left side of the searching bar is all and type in your keywords. Search and easily get the answers from suppliers around China. Check here for the near 100 pages of products. Not only this, Soup is also supported by Google for multiple language searching. Here we try Spanish first. Good to go! You can get exactly same results with English users. Next, let's try Portuguese. No problem, same works for you. Don't worry and search your products in your language on Soup. Now let's see some pro ways of searching for products or rather importing directly. Soup allows you to import products from suppliers of Yaliu Baba, the largest local wholesale website in China, if you got the URL of the very product. Here let's try this watch on Yaliu Baba. Copy the URL and go to my Soup imported product list. Paste the URL to the search bar on the right side, click on Import Product. The watch is successfully imported within a sag. Now let's list it to your store. Click on Action on your right side and hit List it to Store. Select Store and fill in prices for variants. It's done, let's go check it in your store. Here you can further edit the details and description page of the listed product. It's more convenient to manage and fulfill your store orders on Soup Drop Shipping. All you need to do is to allow Soup to automatically sync your store orders to Soup. If you find any of your store orders are not synced to Soup, you can manually sync them. Go to Dashboard and click on My Orders column on your left. Then select Store Orders. Click on Sync Order. Choose your store and select the period of time. Then click on Sync Now and wait until syncing is done. You can check the number of orders synced. Here you can hit the magnifier button to refresh the list and check if the latest orders are successfully synced. Actually, if things go well, these are not needed as all orders should be synced once the authorization is done, and later orders should be synced automatically when it's placed in your store. Let's check it out. Here we can see the latest order is the two pairs of sunglasses we synced just now. Now we go to my Shopify store and place an order. Here we just purchased another pair of sunglasses. 
OK, customer has done the payment and the order is created. Now we go back to soup and refresh the list. You can hit the magnifier button or simply click on the store order button again. No problem, the order is synced automatically. Last step before we make everything done. Every time when you receive an order, you want to make sure everything is correct and confirmed. Then make payments and get it shipped. To deal with your latest order, go to store orders list and click on action button on the right side. Here you can check and confirm the address, select warehouse and shipping methods. If you have any questions about shipping, feel free to ask for custom support. Now the order is confirmed and ready to pay. Before payment, select the package you would like to use. Here you can use coupons. Last step, making payment. Three ways of payment are supported by Soup. We strongly recommend you use SD Wallet and get an extra discount. Great, everything is done. We will check the order and handle the rest for you. You can always check this order status here in the list. That's all for our main functions guide. Hope this video could help you out. For other detailed feature directions, please check out more videos on our website. Thank you.